Hey yo, I'm Jacob Buckman. If you listen, you'll find I'm a young experimenter, also dope on the mic. So let me introduce you to what my project is compared methods of biometric history analysis. A biometric does pull apart from their friends like fingerprints or DNA or iris scans, but I use something found in everyday life. I recognize people based on the way they type, but just say and type with is pretty generic. I represent it so machines can understand it. I chose to do that in two different ways, dependent variable analysis, accuracy, duration, and latency are the things I tried to test. Duration is the time it takes to get a key press, latency the time in between adjacent keys. So for my study, I hypothesized that there would be a difference in accuracy between duration and latency. So finally, I was good to begin my study, so I got a group of my friends and wrote two Java apps for data collection. Account creation was the name of the first, and each of my subjects chose a password. Entered their passwords 15 times each. I made security test once the phase was complete, which let each add into the pass of all others, so each account had 15 real, 15 imposters. From each entry, got both types of data out of it. Then it was time to perform the analysis. Represent each entry as the points in n dimensions, one extra dimension for each character the password is. Use the true user's entries as a baseline data set, then plot each point. How close did it get? Use the function called the halonomous distance to find how close each point is to the baseline. Check for each of 30 points and get a list of 30 dumbs. The smaller each is, the more likely it's a real one. But if it's big digits, then the type is a fake. How to decide if it's small enough to take if it's under a threshold? We can accept it, but otherwise it's just too big, forget it. But how to decide what the threshold should be? If it's too small, we reject too many. But if it's too big, we accept some liars to get the perfect threshold. Just plot two curves. False acceptance, false rejection in the lies. The program does the right thing 1% of the time. The threshold starts at zero, then increases. Where the curves intersect, the values how frequent errors occur. The program gets burned. That intersection is the expected error rate. I found the EER for each subject for each case. I did one minus error to get accuracy for both duration and latency. I found the mean. Duration average accuracy was 95%, but latency was higher. 97, but a pair of T tests or no sig dip, so inclusion, null hypothesis.